Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jared Stodd here, here at the TLF Training Lab, and I'm gonna take you guys through a quick 30 minute workout. Let's do it. Hey, hey. This place is absolutely insane. It has some of the best equipment I have ever seen, but we're gonna start the workout first with some inclined chest, so let's do it. So we're actually gonna do three sets of 12, so let's get into it. Two more, baby. Should be 225. We're gonna do this for 12 again. And then we're gonna move on to some back. It's gonna be like a full, a full body workout, kind of, just a little bit of legs, but mostly upper body. So yeah, chest first and then some back. So let's keep going. I feel like I'm growing already. <laughs> Single set, guys, I always rest about two minutes and then I keep going. So like literally every exercise, no matter what, two minute rest and then right back on. So I always wear like a, a really big pump cover. And this, this is honestly my favorite shirt I've ever worn. It's like dry fit and stretchy. And it's just take life further, which is like my life motto as well. But just wait until I, until you see the stringer under this. It's crazy. And just like that, our chest has already got a pump. And now let's look at a back pump. All right, for the second exercise, we're gonna be doing some underhand lat pull downs to work our lats and grow some width on us. So we're gonna do three sets of 12 of this as well. Let's get right into it. The biggest thing with these exercises is like most people when they work out they just do all the reps everything as fast as they can but in order to really feel it and like really grow your muscles you need to like go slow and like feel the muscle tension on you on every rep every set no matter what the exercise is going fast and just going through the motions is not going to help you you really have to like feel the contraction and go slow and really work that muscle group so that's what i'm doing here you see i'm going slow to really focus on my lats to help them grow so Probably gonna take this pump cover off after this set. <laughs> I already have a pump. <laughs> One more. And then we're gonna do some triceps and some biceps. Be a full upper body workout, just one exercise a piece, and then legs, and that will end the workout. If you can't go to the gym every single day, doing a full body workout like twice to three times a week is really all you need. As long as you can go really hard in those two to three days, it's really all you need. And there's bodybuilders like me and just like, other, I mean, every bodybuilder, you know, they work out six times a week, every week. Sometimes they even work out all seven days. But I try to hit every muscle group twice a week. So like, I'll do just chest and triceps and shoulders one day, and then I'll do back and then legs the next day after that. And I just repeat the cycle every week, all week. It's like the only thing I do. <laughs> it's my lifestyle now. Last set, and then we're gonna do our arms and shoulders, and then just one exercise for legs, and then we'll be done. So let's keep going. Ugh. I just gotta come off now. <laughs> this right here, greatest shirt I've ever worn in the gym. It makes me look bigger. It's tight, stretchy, and it has the best motto in the game, redefine impossible, baby. I'm actually gonna do shoulders first, get a shoulder pump, and then we'll do arms and finish with quads, just so we look good all body you know not just an upper body workout we'll do we'll do quads so we get a good quad pump and then we'll take some pictures for the instagram i generally don't do like just pump workouts i guess usually i stick to my plan it's either upper lower push or pull like workouts but sometimes like when i travel and come to tlf headquarters i have to get a good pump that way i can take some sick pictures in this sick ass gym <laughs> auto raises we're gonna do three sets of 12 of this as well so let's get right into it I feel like my shoulders look insane today. <laughs> I'm gonna hit 40s in this next set. Two minute break though, it's the rule of thumb. If you go less than two minutes, then I feel like you're fatigued and you can't do that same weight for the same amount of reps because you're still fatigued. I feel like two minutes is the perfect threshold to recover. Ooh. I did over 12 that time. <laughs> I, I lost track of my head, it's something I do. Like I counted, I always do a set of six, a set of six in my head. And sometimes I just keep going because I just 
I just forget. I don't know. I love I love the feeling of a pump. <laughs> we have one more set here, and then we'll do some triceps right here, and then biceps. Do some quads, and we're out of here, baby. It can be as quick as that. It can literally be as quick as 20 minutes, 30 minutes, as long as you get in here, bust your ass, and get out. This is my favorite muscle group to work out. Because uh, so your arm, two thirds of your arm is made up of triceps. The other third is your bicep. Most people think you have to work out your biceps to grow, which you do, you grow your arms to the upper half. But two thirds of your arm is triceps. That's where the biggest growth comes into play. So that's what I focus on. And for here, we're gonna do three sets of 12 as well. I pretty much do three sets of 12 on every exercise, but sometimes that could be dependent. I mean, sometimes it'll do eight to 12, eight to 15. Basically, I pretty much do everything until failure, but I try to aim for the weight to be like 12 reps is failure. So that's what I aim for all the time. So we'll do three sets of 12 of this, and then we'll move right on. I think this is the biggest I've ever looked because of this shirt. I really do. This is the best string that's ever fit me in my life. All right, now we're gonna drop it. Go to hammer curls. These are the fastest to recover because you really use them all the time, every day. So it's very fast to recover. That's why most people can do biceps every day. It's the one muscle group you use pretty much all the time. Up. These like these machines, these pry machines, they're so weird because usually on a machine you can just go, you know, and like the weights, the whole like it's like it feels like a whole like, let's say I have a, I have hundred pounds on a leg extension, it feels like a hundred pounds all the way. But these machines you can adjust them and it's like you can feel that tension in the middle or the beginning or the end. So I put it on the middle because then it feels light and then once you get to the middle it's like oh shit. Like most most like Leg extension, you just feel the whole way. This one's different. Like you can target which area you want to work, which is crazy. Like the technology now is insane. We're gonna do three sets of 12 again. So let's get right after it. Four more than I said, just because I'm doing little legs. I like to train a lot. When I train, I pretty much go all out. So we're kind of doing a light workout today, more beginner style. But I mean, if it was like my hard, hard actual workouts. I'll do three sets of 12, and then I'll do like my last set, I'll do like a set of 15, and then I'll take half the weight off and go till failure. I don't know why every time I work out, when I leave the gym, I want to feel like if it's leg day, I don't want my legs to be working, like I want to like be wobbling out of the gym. It's the only way that I feel like I've done enough for myself, you know? I hate to like, I hate to go in the gym and what most people call half acid, you know? It's not like that. I have to go all out all the time, no matter what I'm doing. Whether it's making a YouTube video, eating a full meal, I gotta eat every last drop of it. Or else I feel like I'm cheating myself, and I hate that. I hate the feeling of, of me thinking like I could have done better, you know? So why don't I just go all out when I had the chance, so. We have one last set here, of leg extensions, and then it will be completed. And next time you guys, next time I record a video of a full workout, we'll go through a full Jared Stodd bodybuilding workout. But I'm not really a bodybuilder, this is just kind of something I love to do. And I've, I love to train like a bodybuilder, Although I'm not a bodybuilder, hopefully I can show in the future. But I gotta gain more size first, so. <laughs> here we go, we have one last set of 12, so here we go. That right there will wrap up our 30 minute workout. You need to find impossible, baby. 